Right, so now that we have a test suite, it would be a good time to set up a build pipeline. So let's head over to Travis CI and I'm going to go to travisci.org. So the first thing you want to make sure is to go to your GitHub account and log in. And once you do, you should be able to sign in to Travis with your GitHub account. The first time you log in, you're gonna have to activate your GitHub repositories. In my case, I've already done that. So I'm gonna go to my repositories. And then if we look for React CSS spinners, that's gonna be this project. So what we can do is we can actually enable it. So we're gonna just turn on the switch. And once we do, we should now see this page. So this one is gonna indicate that we don't have any builds for this repository. Repository. So that means that we can actually go back to our project and we can create a special YAML file known as Travis.yml. And then this file is where we write the configuration for our build pipeline. So we're gonna tell it that the language for this project is going to be Node.js, meaning JavaScript. We're also gonna tell it to turn off the sudo mode because when installing the packages or when running the test, we don't actually need to have access to the sudo privileges. The next thing we can specify is the Node.js version. Now be careful with the spacing in this file. I'm gonna put two spaces, dash. And this is where we can specify the Node.js versions. For example, we can put eight or 10, or we can even simply say node. So this is gonna pull in the latest version of node, which at the time of this recording is node 11. Now we talked about stages in the build process. When it comes to Travis CI, there's also a concept known as phases, in fact, if you go to the documentation section, if you go to core concepts for beginners, you're gonna find more information about this, but essentially there's three phases known as install, script, and deploy. So by default, the install phase is going to execute a command known as npm ci, and this one is gonna do a clean install of all of our dependencies. And by the way, it's also going to do an implicit npm audit as of npm six. And now the script phase is going to do npm test by default. So we're good with the install phase. We're gonna install all of our dependencies, but we can customize the script phase. Now in this case, instead of doing npm test, which will simply run our test suite, we'd like to run the just coverage command so we can generate the coverage reports for our project. But before we can actually do that, we also need to set up another service known as coveralls. And of course you could also go with code coverage or code cov. This time I'm gonna go with coveralls. So this service is free just like Travis CI. And and if you're already signed in to GitHub, you can also sign in with your GitHub account. So let's do that. And then we can go to our repos. And from there, we can look for React CSS spinners. And now this one we can turn on. And so from there, we can go to npm.im slash coveralls. We're gonna need to install this package. So we can do so as a dev dependency. Let's install it. And from there using Jest, what we can do is we can invoke Jest with the coverage option and pipe the results into coveralls like this. So now let's copy this command and I'll create a new script. Let's call it test coveralls. Let's paste it in. And back in Travis YAML, I'm gonna do npm run test coveralls. So once again, we're going to run the test suite, but we're also going to generate a coverage report and we're going to send it off to coveralls at the same time. And then once we run the test suite, in fact, before we even run the test suite, let's also do npm run lint. So we're going to first run eslint to make sure we don't have any linting issues. And then after that, we're going to run the test suite and also generate the test coverage for coveralls. And I'm gonna add one last optional thing. This one is the notifications settings. I'm going to set email to false. So this way I'm going to disable any email notifications. All right, so let's go ahead and commit our code. So I'll do get status, I'll add all files. Let's do a commit, integrate Travis CI and coveralls. So now let's do a git push and this should trigger a build in Travis. So let's go back. So now if you go to branches, there's gonna be one popping up. It's still in the queue, but if you click on it, eventually it's gonna start. So as you can see, it's setting up the environment, cloning the repo, doing an install of node version 11.6.0, then doing npm ci to install the dependencies. And then we're running our lint command. We're running the test suite, generating the test coverage and it looks like it succeeded. So now we have a one build passed. So if I switch back to coveralls, let's go to details. And if you scroll down, you're gonna see a 100% coverage. In fact, the last thing we can do is we can also copy the badge. So let's embed it. We're gonna use the markdown syntax. Let's go back to our readme. So I'll add one for coveralls and let's also add one from Travis. So let's click on it. Let's use markdown syntax. I'm gonna copy it. Let's go back in here, paste it in. And now we have a basic pipeline running. 